Hello and welcome to thebusiness.com. Now many of us are members of organisations specialising in helping businesses get along and I'm sure if you own your own business you're no stranger to the Institute of Directors. With me today is Richard Tuplin who is Chairman of the East Yorkshire and Humber branch of the Institute of Directors. Is it one of the newer branches of the IOD? Uh, it is, it's the newest branch. We created it about three years ago, I say we, the, um, the board in London created a branch. We used to operate in a centre into North Yorkshire. Uh, things went from great to greater and we're operating our own branch which is East Yorkshire and the Humber. Nationally, what is the job of the Institute? It's representing business leaders. It stands for influencing the policy matters that affect business. It's about good corporate governance. It's about running good long-term sustainable companies. Isn't that what the Chambers of Commerce do though? No, no. It, everybody has the representation of business but what we do is we differentiate ourselves by good corporate governance, by influencing at that level and representing our director's firm, not a company's interests. That's the difference. So what about regionally then? I mean, what do people get regionally as far as the IOD is concerned? I suppose what people generally look for is the networking opportunities. If you go to an institute director's event, chances are you'll be making a, uh, meeting a decision maker. So that's why they go originally. But then what we've added on is the influencing of local policy. So we have good access to council leaders, uh, chief executives, um, MPs, which, which allow us to make and shape those, locally policy, uh, those local policies decisions that are made. Is it, and, and you are being listened to, are you, by those policy decision makers? Uh, they can always say they're listening to you. You, know, you. you try and have an impact where you can, but we have a, a line nationally and, lo and locally about what the politicians should be um, giving business and, and what they should be helping business with. How long have you been involved with the IOD? Uh, four years now, which is the grey. Which clearly it's taking its effect on you. <laughs> Why then, was it you, were you the driving force behind the, the regional branch? Uh, the local branch, yes. When you've been in there, the IOD is a super brand. It's been uh, since Royal Charter 1909. So, you know, this has got a great credibility and a great weight. And who can not believe in running a sustainable company long term with good governance? and um, lobbying and uh, getting MPs to do what business needs. Is there a danger though that it can be seen as a bit of an old pals act or old boys club if you like? Uh, undoubtedly but you have to ask the question is, is taking the male thing aside it's all about people if you don't know the right people you can't get to where you need to be so yes it is uh, but it's not exclusive to men that, that would be my response. Mm. And what's the membership like at the moment locally? It's, I think it's 50-50 you know the, ladies as business leaders are really punching the, above the weight now and you can find they're in much positions as men are so over over the branch it's really really good uh, representation for men and women how's it grown over the three years that it's been going yeah very good really the recession hit quite hard and of course that's the point when everybody looks at do you get value for money can we afford it but we held on we only had a 10 percent drop in membership so i was quite pleased and that's creeping we, we've got that that 10% back so we're creeping onwards and upwards and people are seeing value in what we do and we're seen as true business representation. Well this is the thing isn't it I mean you pay your membership fee you're going to want some form of return yeah, of course on, you on that investment as well. Yeah. How did you cope dealing with membership and trying to keep the membership through the recession? Value for money what we've said there Blair it's all about actions isn't it you know everybody can deliver and say we're going to do this we say we're going to do that if you look at what we've delivered year after year at business week the other events meet the cabinet the question answers panels the feedback surveys we do you know you've got to say that these things speak for themselves so they know it's happening real time and they know they're going to step into that arena and get that value is it a constant battle to get new members yeah it is always is uh, what i won't do is we um we're not an aggressive sales company, you know, you're either going to fit that criteria or not um, and you'll either want to be in that group or not. So it's simply up to the individual, but when they do show an interest, we're very active with it. It's, uh, I mean, it's a great title, isn't it? The Institute of Directors, you have the sort of, and I know, you know, the, there are the National Office in Pall Mall in London, yeah. it's a very grand building and a very grand address. Um, there may be people who run small and medium-sized businesses who think it's not for me, it's going to be for the likes of of BP and Barclays and things like that. Oh, no, not at all. And it's a really good point that it's um, when I joined our business, uh, we were substantially smaller. But that's what it's about. And um, one of the benefits a lot of members have had is you will speak to other members about problems you've had, 
decisions that have been made or just general counsel you take off people about growing a business, the problems you encounter. And that is incredible value when you think about it. But it, we've got members from uh, one-man bands, limited companies, up to blue-chip PLCs. So there is no restriction on membership at all. And in terms of practical help and advice that you can give people, I mean, if people have tax issues, if people need advice about financing things or insurance, how, can the IOD help in that respect? Yeah, the IOD does help. The legal helplines, the tax helplines are there and their service from London, very reputable. And that's another thing that goes with the IOD, is whatever will be delivered by its brand will be in keeping with its brand. So it's, it is very good service. Where do you see it going from here? I mean, you've got, what, 275, 300 membership at the moment? Yeah, I don't think we've really started. I think we had to prove ourselves in a city that had good um, ways into the chamber and other organisations and we've punched above our weight but we now have shown people what we can do, it's now consistently delivering that and showing what we can do more, getting the right people together and doing the right things. Well long may it continue, good to see you Richard, thank no, you thank very you much. Bro. Richard Tuplin.